Next speaker is Bob Pejman. Mr. Pejman, you're, you have some time donated to you by Sonny Kirtley, so you have a total of four minutes to speak. Thank you. Good evening, Commissioners. I'm Bob Pejman, owner of Pejman Gallery, located in the Scottsdale Arts District. And it's no surprise to most folks here that the Arts District merchants fought this project pretty heavily for about six, eight months, primarily on parking overflow. Having said that, we support it. I think it's a classy project, and it's a beautiful project. But parking overflow was always a main concern. And to put that in perspective, from a retailer's or a merchant's point of view, parking availability is oxygen. I'm going to repeat that. It's oxygen. Because if we don't have parking and available and close by parking, we go out of business. And if I put any of you guys in that position, all of a sudden it becomes real important. So for that reason, Museum Square, as it was originally proposed, posed the threat of parking cannibalization to a great extent. So we spent time, months and months, to try to convince the city and the developer to take care of this. And I'm happy to report that the city and the developer, they listened and address the majority of these issues. Okay, so I'm gonna put a slide here, just a different spin. If we can bring that up. Can we show the whole? Well, anyway, it, 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 it shows what Brian Clough already addressed, which is that is the addition of the extra level of parking under the hotel, adding about 160 free park public spaces, which are open 24-7, and they're free. Um, the reconfiguration of the street, 41 of them are going to be done as part of development. The 42 have been promised and assured by staff that will get done by the city regardless of what the obstacles, all right? And uh, also, we, there are two zoning stipulations, and I appreciate the help from legal to put this, these two stipulations in that provides, uh, you know, a de designated parking for the hotel employees and also for the residentials. And additionally, the developer added 66 additional spaces beyond the city's code, which I, as you know, I've called deficient, but they still went above it for 66 uh, spaces. Bottom line, about 300 additional spaces compared to day one on this project. And we're happy about that, okay? Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out is that a lot of people think about the arts, arts district as a bunch of galleries, and that is not the fact. I'm going to put this list here. I don't know if, for some reason, the whole thing is not shown on these on the on the project on the projector. We can zoom out. Okay, I need more time then. <laughs> Okay, bottom line is this. We have over 100 merchants and, and, and other entities in the arts district. We have 46 galleries, but we also have 10 boutiques and fashion boutiques and luxury boutiques. We have 10 interior designers, many of them very prominent, but we also have 20 plus restaurants. And so we have a comprehensive range of merchants. Now, ironically, the restaurants would have been hit the hardest on the parking. And with this extra parking right now, they're going to be able to make more money. We're all going to be able to make more money. And the city will reap the extra sales tax benefit from this. And the connection between available parking and sales tax has never been brought up before. I'm going to bring it up for the first time. Because you look at these places like the malls that have a lot of parking, the restaurants and businesses do well, and the tax rate and the taxes are generated. And finally, I would say that I hope that the other developers that are doing the large projects uh, learn from this. And just because the parking code is to the bare minimum, that doesn't mean that they have, they have to adhere to it and they cannot go above it. If they want a quality product, like Museum Square is going to be, they can do the same thing and add more parking. Thank you. Question. Thank you, Mr. Pejman. Question. Commissioner Cush does have a question for you, Mr. Pejman. One quick question, Mr. Pejman. Uh, how long have you been a gallery owner? Here, about 10 years. How long? Ten, ten years. So you'd consider yourself a, a, 
a, a good speaker on the on the uh, arts district. Yes. Do you feel this project will, someone said, is going to lead to the end of the arts district? Do you believe that? Depends on what happens. You know, if, if as as designed and as built with the parking, is it going to lead to the end of the? If it, if it's only as is, no. But there's more coming. The bishop right. project. I just asking more. about this yeah. project. We're the one project on won't. But the the people that make that statement are making it on the basis that there's more to happen that will cause you know every one of these buildings that the art galleries are in are target to be, you know to be uh, redeveloped. All right, I just was curious about that. We're only voting on this. No, on this one alone, I don't think it's a threat, no. Thank you. Absolutely.